So let's read the question. Show that a minus b the whole square, a square plus b square, and a plus b the whole square are in AP. So let's begin. So basically we have three terms over here. Now how do we show these three terms form an AP? See an AP is a special type of sequence in which difference between any two consecutive terms is the same. So second term minus first term should be equal to third term minus second term. That is the main concept over here. So I'll take the first term as a minus b the whole square, the second term as a square plus b square, and the third term as a plus b the whole square. So to show these three terms are in AP, we have to find the difference between second and first term, third and second term, and show them to be the same. So first I'll find the difference between second and first term. So first we'll do a2 minus a1. So that is equal to, what is second term? a square plus b square minus first term that is a minus b the whole square. So let's simplify this, a square plus b square. Now a very common mistake is not paying attention to this minus n. Minus, now solve this in brackets. I put minuses outside this. So what is a minus b the whole square? a square plus b square minus 2ab. So don't forget this minus sign outside, otherwise you'll get a wrong answer. Now simplify. So a square plus b square minus into a square minus a square minus into plus b square minus b square minus into minus plus so plus 2ab a square minus a square gone plus b square minus b square gone so what is the value we get 2ab so basically we're getting a2 minus a1 as 2ab similarly we'll now find third term minus second term a3 minus a2 so what is a3 it is a plus b the whole square minus a2 again because we have a minus sign here, put this in brackets. Second term is a square plus b square. I repeat third term minus second term. So what is a plus b the whole square? a square plus b square plus 2ab minus into a square minus a square minus into plus b square minus b square. a square minus a square gone plus b square minus b square gone. So what remains? 2ab. Now check. See here also we are getting 2ab. Here also we are getting 2ab. So right over here. Since a3 minus a2 is equal to a2 minus a1, this implies the three terms are in AP. I repeat, because difference between consecutive terms is the same, hence they are in AP. I repeat, because the difference between consecutive terms is the same, that is third term minus second term, is the same as second term minus first term. Hence, the three terms are in AP. So this is how you solve such type of questions. So whenever you want to show three terms are in AP, just find difference between second and first term, third and second term. If the two differences are the same, then they are equal. Also, if you want, you can call this as one, and you can call this as two. And you can mention over here in bracket, from one and two. So from one and two. Just be very careful with the minus sign. So minus of the second term, here minus of the first term. Is this clear? Once you do this, you'll easily get your answer. So this is how you solve such type of questions.